The Wairarapa Connection is a locomotive hauled passenger train which connects Wellington with Masterton and a few other towns in the Wairarapa. The service was launched by New Zealand Railways in 1964 when passenger demand exceeded the capacity of the Fiat railcars then in use. Unlike many other passenger services in New Zealand, the Wairarapa Connection has remained in operation since the 60s thanks to a unique set of circumstances. Firstly, the alternative mode of transport. State Highway 2 takes a very circuitous and windy route over the Rimotaka ranges, and in this case especially, it's generally easier for commuters and leisure travellers to take the train instead. Second thing is the three sizeable towns that the Wairarapa connection serves, namely Featherston, Carterton and Masterton. By extension, there's also a bus service that connects Woodside Station with Greytown. Incidentally, there used to be a branch line running between Woodside and Greytown, but this was closed in 1953. For the longest time, old 56-foot coaches from the 40s were used on the Masterton runs, but since 2007, the Wairarapa connection has been re using rebuilt ex-British Rail Mark II coaches which are now classified in either the SW or SE series. For reference, the SE coaches were initially used around 2009 and 2010 with refurbished EO locomotives. This was a stopgap measure until enough Matangi units had arrived, and now the SE coaches are mixed in with the SW stock. As for the EOs, only one of them has survived into preservation. Originally five of these engines were built by Toshiba of Japan, as they entered service on the Otira to Arthur's Pass section of the Midland Line in 1968. Currently, the passenger services to Masterton are all hauled by KiwiRail's DFB class diesel locomotives. These were originally built as General Motors DFs in 1979 and 1981. From what I gather, the train service itself is operated by Metlink, while KiwiRail just provides the locomotives and drivers. Unfortunately, the section of the Wairarapa line between Masterton and Pahiatua doesn't have any regular train services anymore, though KiwiRail still own the line. They do, however, still operate a once-daily service from Palmerston North to Pahiatua and back, serving a Fonterra plant in Pahiatua. These services run every day of the week, and typically have three southbound trips in the morning peak, with three northbound in the evening peak. Normally, there's also one extra northbound service in the morning, which is train 1602, the 821 to Masterton. This lot also forms the 1030 service off of Masterton, which is train 1607. The same set of coaches also runs train 1604, the 1245 from Wellington, and train 1609, the 1538 from Masterton. These are essentially reverse commuter services. On weekends, there are usually just two trips each way between Wellington and Masterton. Wairarapa connection trains are basically a semi-fast service, in the sense that they stop at all stations between Masterton and Upper Hutt before skipping the vast majority of stations that the Matangi electric trains serve on the Hutt Valley line. The stations served by the Wairarapa connection are as follows. Masterton Reynolds Street Solway, Carterton, Matarawa, Woodside, Featherston, Maymorn, Upper Hutt, Waterloo, Petone, and Wellington. As with my Locomotive Spotlight series, we will now cut to some of the Wairarapa connection footage I've captured in 2016, 2020, and 2021. As a bonus, here's two clips of DC 4467 on the job in July 2015. This was right around the time when DFBs started taking over the service, as they are much better suited to passenger services than the smaller DC.
Jumping ahead to January 2016, we now see DFB 7307, which once carried the Tasman Forestry livery back when she was still DF 6133, coming off the turntable at Masterton and backing down onto the coaches for the 1030 to Wellington. On the evening of the 7th, not on the evening of the 7th, but on the evening of July 12th, 2020, which was a Sunday by the way, I went back to Wellington Station to see DFB 7200 leaving with train 1616. This was the 6.55pm service to Masterton, and I was pleasantly surprised to see it leaving from platform 2 instead of the usual 8 or 9. And three quarters. <laughs> The next day I was back at Wellington Station, and this time I caught DFB 7010 backing down on the coaches for train 1602. Incidentally, DSC 2515 was also active at the station, shunting the coaches in and out of the certain platforms. DFB 7348 arriving with train 1603, the 620 X Masterton service. 7348 used to be DFT 7254 and DF 6058 before that. Back in 1999, the locomotive was involved in a nasty head on collision with a DC at a place called Waipahi. Sadly, the DFT's driver was killed, which is why she was renumbered during her early 2000s overhaul.
7348 was also one of four DFT slash DFB locomotives that received the Max Blue livery in 2010, as she was used on additional SA and SD commuter services in Auckland. She left this role in 2015, as all diesel services north of Papakura were replaced by the AM electric units, but she wasn't repainted in Kiwi Rail colours until July 2016. Just as the capital connection is arriving, we see DFB 7010 leaving with train 1602, the 821 service to Masterton. And incidentally, it reminds me of a line in the Dad's Army theme song. You know, Mr. Brown was off to town on the 821, but he comes home each evening and he's ready with his gun. And here's DFB 7200 arriving with train 1605, the 647 X Masterton service. This is another one of the X Max engines, and I remember filming her at Glen Eden Station back in April 2015. Here's that old footage of 7200, if anyone was curious. Later in the morning, we see DFB 7010 again, this time arriving at Upper Hutt on her way back from Masterton. This is the northern limit of electric services on the Hutt Valley Line. And, as one would expect, there was a Matanga unit in the bay platform when 7010 turned up.
we see 7010 yet again, and this time I caught her speeding past Nauranga station with train 1604 to Masterton. Now in the evening peak, we see DFB 7200 leaving Petone station with train 1606, the 425 X Wellington service. Back at Wellington Station, we see 7348 leaving with train 1608, the 530 to Masterton. These are the coaches for train 1610, being shunted into platform 8 by DSC 2515.
On July 15th, 2020, I rode on train 1602 all the way to Masterton. Once again, DFB 7200 was doing the honours that day, and I also stuck around at Masterton to watch her leaving with train 1607 to go back to the capital. November 2020, I ended up staying a few nights in Masterton, which is something I never actually have done before or since. This meant that Masterton was my local station, and here's DFB 7213 arriving with train 1608 from Wellington. Next day, I was met with less than desirable weather. 
but somehow I still managed to leg it all the way from my motel to the station, which involved walking all the way up Perry Street. Whilst there, I caught DFB 7348 propelling some coaches into the platform, then departing with train 1605, the 647 to Wellington. After so going to the Fell Locomotive Museum in Featherston, I joined train 1607 at the aforementioned station for a ride down to Wellington. This time DFB 7213 was doing the honours. Once another long day of train spotting in the Wellington area was over, it was back to the city's main station to catch train 1610, the 6.18pm service to Masterton. Yet again, it was hauled by DFB 7213. Next day, it was a very early start in order to catch the first service to Wellington. This was 1601, the 546 off of Masterton, with DFB 7010 doing the honours. On this occasion, there was another DSC doing station pilot duties.
Later that same day, I made the embarrassing mistake of standing on the Hutt River Bridge near Ava to film DFB 7010 with train 1604. I wasn't a public footpath, mind. I did not trespass on the railway in order to get this shot. In the evening, after I'd finished a round of watching Matangi units at Taita Station, I hastily joined DFB 7267 and train 1608 at Upper Hutt. This was the last time I filmed a Wairarapa connection consist in 2020, as I didn't return to this area until May 2021. Jumping forward to May 2021, and here we see DFB 7348 speeding past Nauranga Station with train 1601. followed by DSC 2665 shunting the coaches for train 1602 into platform 8 at Wellington Station. As per usual, the Capital Connection from Palmerston North arrived just as 1602 was leaving. This time Kiwi Rail put DFB 7348 on the 821 to Masterton.
C7348 arriving back in Wellington with train 1609, followed by a DSC 2665 coming in to collect the empty coaches. which was a Saturday, saw the Wairarapa connection running on the usual reduced schedule, although the trains weren't very punctual if memory serves. Here's DFB 7010 arriving in Wellington with train 1613. I didn't think to mention this sooner, but 7010 is another one of those DFs that used to carry the Max Blue livery. <laughs> bizarre seeing DSC 2665 parked in the Platform 8 head shunt over that weekend. She was still there the next morning when I caught the Northern Explorer back to Hamilton. My guess is that with the weekend services they would just leave the coaches in the station and then the DFB would uncouple, go into this other head shunt, then reverse down Platform 9, out to the turntable, then come back into Platform 8. Thank you for watching this semi-in-depth look at the Wairarapa Connection passenger train, or as Johnny would call it, a semi-in-depth look. I'm not sure when I'll go to Wellington again, but when I do I'll try to film at least one of these services, and I dare say I probably will even without intending to do so. Take care everyone and have a good Christmas and New Year's.